Hello there. My name is Gordon Eboa, a postgraduate student in Northumbria University, which is in the northeastern part of England. I will first want to thank Oculus for giving me a special license of GeoTime software for my PhD research. This video demonstrates how SpaceTime Cube in GeoTime can be used for GPS data cleaning using both travel diaries and secondary sources of data such as um, OpenStreetMap. So let's start. Um, what you see is the travel diary and raw GPS data files. The raw data, um, a CSV file format, is loaded into every ArcGIS ArcMap software. Um, OpenStreetMap is also loaded as a base map to check the orientation of the raw data. The raw data is sent to uh, GeoTime using the GeoTime adding link in ArcMap, as you can see. So now we click uh, Send to GeoTime um, button to issue the command to communicate with GeoTime software. Uh, GeoTime then attempts to load the data, but mapping of the data structure is needed first to enable GeoTime to understand the content of the raw data. For example, the, data, the, the, the date and time formats. Um, as you can see there, that is the date format. Um, all attributes in the CSV is loaded at default, and some of um, the attributes um, or all can be unchecked as needed. In this case, all is checked. Um, a preview of the data table um, is possible. For example, here you can see the preview of the data table, and then you can decide whether to import or not. In this case, it's correct, so you can then import it. You click import button and wait for the import to complete with some pop up summary, as you can see there. So, what you see is all the raw data of one participant. And this just to play with the data, you can map it to the the point says to the open street map or the base map. And let's go to the calendar view. The calendar view shows the uh, number of trips per day and an idea of um, how long it took by visually comparing the red point sets and the and the um, 2D map below. Um, let's go to the charts tab, and the charts tab you see the bucket by um, these attributes are actually um, all loaded attributes from the raw GPS data, and I will select local date here. Then you can see the point sets or the trips are categorized by date. You can also compare um, both the maps in ArcMap and GeoTime to make sure the orientations are correct. Um, the travel diary is now um, in a way will be consulted after the flip. I mean just checking these both maps. And then um, by doing that you can then check which trips are available and then use that to um, extract only the trip that is needed. So let's go to the travel diary. Um, for example, you have here the 9th of uh, November 2011. It's actually the period, one of the periods uh, within the period where the data was collected and where cycle trips occurred. So here, journey one is um, a bike trip trip and it started at um, 8.43 a.m. and ended around 8.59 a.m. So as you can see there, or you can just flip over and find any date or any trip that you want so that you can actually identify that in the GPS data in GeoTime environment. But first let's um, auto color it just for easy identification. Um, only trips um, for the identified date are selected and the first trip which was found to be a cycle trip is selected for closer inspection or visual inspection and cleaning. 
on your left you um, can see the time scale and might have noted by now that the trip should have ended around 9 a.m. but it extends to around 11 a.m. So a decision is then made considering all point sets from 9 a.m. Um, onwards as redundant and should be removed. So that's basically the idea. This is just double checking, you know. So um, let's see. You have all these points. You can then zoom in. This, this is the beauty of GeoTime. It gives you the flexibility to play with the data and therefore you can actually investigate very well before you make a decision. So here we decide that all these point sets are, point sets are um, redundant and then they are deleted. You can go closer, depending on how accurate you want it, you can go closer and delete um, as much as you can find. So in a way, of, before you delete, you just try to find out um, whether actually what you're deleting is um, um, actually redundant or not. So you just do a little bit of investigation, all by being informed by the secondary data here at the background and then the travel diary. So based on that, we decide uh, it's decided that um, these points are all redundant and they are deleted. It's possible to assess all point information as part of the inspection and decision making process. So, um, in a way, uh, by inspecting these points, you can see that uh, um, the speed is actually reducing, and therefore it appears that the person is actually stopping. So, that is a good message um, in terms of helping in informing your decision. So, um, what you see now um, is a better refined point set defining the cycle trip. Uh, so you see this is more refined and define it better than before. So that's basically the idea of using um, space time keeping due time for data cleaning. Um, you can leave a comment here. Uh, or visit my blog at godwinyaboa.blogsport.com. You can also contact my supervision team if necessary. Um, thank you for your interest and have a nice day. Bye.